So tonight is a little bit about uh, challenging you a bit about where you are and what you want to do and where you want to head if that's in the dairy industry, okay? Um, and I've passed around just to kick off, I want to talk for a couple of minutes about the external bit of the industry, which is price. Now you should all have in front of you a sheet that says milk price. Um, so if just to test, um, if I say give me the milk price in 09, 10, what was it? 440. That's Gippsland and Western Victoria. That probably puts you lot at about 460 to 480, somewhere in that zone. What have I got for this year? 669 and rising, right? Depending upon where it ends up this year with the step ups that are going on. So I'm going to say 670 to seven bucks. Now the first thing to remember is that milk price between two dairy farms can vary by a dollar a kilo milk solids for a bucket load of reasons. So if you are ever contemplating share farming or doing something crossing the line, and I'll explain what that is shortly, just remember um, two farms can be side by side and milk price can be a dollar difference. And if I want a dollar profit, that difference can equal profit. Okay? So milk price varies enormously between farms. The other thing is, everyone, I mean at the moment I'm saying milk price is a laxative. This time last year the industry was constipated. Nothing was moving. Right? You wouldn't have been here if we'd had this night this time last year. I reckon a quarter of you would have been here. Maybe. Because the difference between a 440 and a 670 is profit, it's growth, it's enthusiasm, it's a whole heap of stuff. Now, it's terrific for everyone to be pumped about a $6.70 milk price. Can anyone tell me what it's going to be in four years? Have we got any factory representatives here? Murray Goldman, someone from Murray Goldman, I'm sure is here. I'm sure someone from Murray Goldman is here tonight. Angela, can you do the milk price in four years' time? Seems to be a reasonable question to me. Do you know? Ring Ross and ask him. Ring Gary and ask him. Where are we from here? <laughs> So therefore, anything we talk about tonight has to be contexted, contexted with crackerjack milk price and a shit milk price. Okay, whatever you do, you have to be able to survive at five bucks to five thirty. And some people have survived reasonably well at that sort of price. So milk price is going to keep on going up and down. Supplement price is going to keep on going up and down. Seasonal conditions are going to keep on varying. Have I depressed you enough? Now, having said that, and irrigation is going to... Nathan, I heard that. I heard that. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, many people are talking about El Nino. And, I mean, some people are glass half empty, some people are glass half full. No one would ever cross this line here, over this side of the toilet paper, if you are a glass half empty person. Right? This side is, I've decided to be self employed. You know, before I talked about milk pricing, I want a dollar profit. So if your milk price is five bucks, right? Or your milk price is six bucks, 
I want you to produce milk at no greater than five bucks. And if we can do it at four fifty, I'm even happier. So I want a dollar to a dollar fifty profit, true profit. If I am a good operator compared to a crappy operator, and so let me just go in here and say, if I haven't got it, whatever it is, I might make minus a dollar profit. If I'm a very good operator with the same set of physical conditions, I'll make plus a dollar. So what I'm saying is the skills that you've got can be plus or minus a dollar in the outcome. That pays for a lot of debt.